I didn't truly read my first nonfiction book until I was at university. I know, I know. I went to university. I'm very smart. But I always thought that nonfiction, by definition, was boring, staid, dusty, not fiction. Okay, so maybe I wasn't that smart. I fell in love with reading nonfiction by the time I left university, and now that YouTube is a huge passion of mine, I've been picking up some of the books by some of my favorite creators as they try to diversify their content. So let's talk about that. <laughs> So these are the three books that I recently read. Let's start with Ashley Mardell's The ABCs of LGBT+. Now, as a person who would describe themselves as tolerant, I am intolerant of one thing, and that's books that don't have any smell. I don't get it. As a book lover, I adore the mustiness of pulp. Every single book has a unique smell to it. But however, this book was published, it has no order at all. Now, as far as the content goes, I've become confused in recent years as more gender identities and sexualities have been revealed. It's been hard to keep track of. Worse, I never want to inadvertently hurt somebody's feelings or cause them distress, but this book does a good overview of some of the more common identities and sexualities, as well as diving into the nuances of some of the lesser known ones. The book begins with a glossary of terms which I found fairly daunting. With some of the definitions I couldn't figure out how they were different from others. However, the book does in its very few chapters dig into the meat of those distinctions. If you're curious about how and why these definitions are important, I definitely recommend it. It certainly opened up my eyes and mind. Please only do that metaphorically. If you think that all of this is just a silly SJW waste of time, then I'm not convinced that this book is for you, but secondarily, why so mad, bro? The second book is Buffering by Hannah Hart, which, not to bury the lead, is probably my favorite of the three. If you know Hannah and your YouTube channel, Harto, then you're gonna be familiar with My Drunk Kitchen and her effervescent nature coupled with a powerful positivity. That does shine through in her writing, but there's also this sense of sadness and a deep hurt. Mostly that's due to her upbringing and the battle she has with her mother's schizophrenia. The chapters that deal specifically with her family are the ones that are the most engaging and offer the most insight. The rest of the book dances between lighter fare and other life lessons. While this may not be something I would describe as the best biography ever written, that is a fairly high bar to set. To know Hannah is to really understand her struggles, and I was moved, and I was engaged the entire time. The final book is Fun Science, written by Charlie McDonnell. It is probably the best titled book because it is fun. It is science! It truly feels like I'm reading a script for one of Charlie's videos. It is authentically his voice. His geekiness and humor shine on every single page. He takes us on a journey through some of the core concepts of science, the subject. However, if you've seen the show Cosmos, either the Sagan or the Tyson version, many of this stuff you'll probably already be familiar with. But there is a great value of having this not just in video form. This is a book that I would recommend to almost every single age group because of how well written it is. The writing is also coupled with clever diagrams and also cheeky inputs from the editor. Have you read any of these books? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this discussion, then you can definitely subscribe for videos every Monday and Thursday. You can also click on that bell under Underneath me to be alerted when new videos are posted, including when the live streams happen that I've begun to do every month. What can I say? I just, I love huffing books, especially when you sprinkle them with brown sugar and ecstasy. I am seeing rainbows right now.